Hello friends, happy All Saints Day. I'm here standing by portraits of four of our Marianist martyrs, four of our many Marianist martyrs. We have here behind me, Blessed Jacob Gop, Blessed Jesus Hita, Blessed Carlos Aranya, and Blessed Fidel Fuidio. And they are among the many saints that we honor today on the solemnity of All Saints. This is such an important feast day because we commemorate all those who now enjoy the beatific vision. In other words, all those who are now with God in heaven. And of course, we know that the church has declared hundreds, if not thousands of people as canonized saints. St. Thomas Aquinas, St. Augustine, St. Paul, St. Athanasius, and the list goes on and on and on. And we also know that there are many saints in heaven who have not been officially declared as saints, not canonized, but nonetheless enjoy the beatific vision, see God face to face, and enjoy his company in eternal life. Saints with a small s. And that's our destiny. Our destiny is to become saints. The stakes are high. We're not just called to be ordinary Christians. We're called to be saints. And what, what does that mean? That means that we're called to be the best version of ourselves that God envisioned when God created us. There's a work of art in Los Angeles that I absolutely love. It's, it's a series of tapestries done by the contemporary artist John Nava. It's called The Communion of Saints and it hangs in the Cathedral of Our Lady of the Angels, again in Los Angeles. And what's unique about it in the series of tapestries is that all the saints are modeled after members of that cathedral parish. They're all Los Angelinos. And so if you went to that parish, you would recognize the great looming figures, the large, larger-than-life figures that you would see on those tapestries in that newly built cathedral. And it's a great, a great depiction of an important theme. We are all destined to become saints. We're not just ordinary people. We are people on the path to sainthood. Blessed Shamanad taught this himself and, and cherished this in his heart. He wanted his society, the Society of Mary, to be what he called a spectacle of a people of saints, something for all of us to witness. I'm sometimes asked, do you know any saints in the Society of Mary? Have you lived with any saints? Yeah, I think so. On November 16th, we'll celebrate the fourth anniversary of the passing of Father Paul Landolfi. Father Paul was an orphan. He grew up in the orphanage St. John's home down on the south shore of Long Island run by the Marianists. Later on, he became a Marianist. In his retirement years, he came here to live among us at Chaminade. What a wonderful man. What a warm and caring man. Everywhere he went, he made friends. Everywhere he went, he knew that he he could talk to people, and people knew they could talk to him, and found in him a willing ear and a, a compassionate con confessor. You know, in his last days, when he passed away, he stayed here as long as he could and then went to Queen of Peace. And when he got to Queen of Peace Nursing Home, he revived a little bit, and he started making friends with everyone on the staff there. I was visiting one afternoon, and one of the cleaning personnel came in, and he asked this woman about her family, he knew her by name. He just, he was always interested in other people. And he, when he went to Queen of Peace, one of the first questions he asked is, could we set up a table in my room so that I could continue teaching the novices about Marianist history? That's what we mean by a saint. Someone who is the best version of what God envisioned him to be. Let this be our prayer today on All Saints Day, inspired by the canonized saints. May we aspire to be saints ourselves. Thanks so much for watching, and God bless.